everybody, Average Gamer here, so today we have the patch review, that's right, the patch review for patch 1.4.35 for Tuesday, November 17th, uh, the patch went live around, uh, around 10 a.m. Pacific, so lots of changes, lots of tweaks, but we're going to go into this right away. So first thing we're going to talk about is the new UI changes. So you notice that down here, firstly, there's a new Siebel logo, they've kind of modified that, and also the buttons up here. They've kind of modernized them a little bit, and they look a little bit tabby. They've also moved them around, so store is no longer with play anymore. Um, it's kind of in its own little section here. And then they've changed these things. So quick play is obviously where you do the solo, you know, where you pick your server and and all that stuff. And then here is faction play, which is whoop, community warfare. So it's now being called faction play. It's no longer being called um, community warfare. So that's the first big thing. Um, the next big uh, UI change, if I bring it up here, is the addition of the special button. Special button is if basically toggles the filter and shows all your special max. We'll get into that in a second. So there's also three new icons. They only mentioned two, but there's actually three on your max. So you'll see there's this hexagon here. One says H, one says C. So if it's H, it means it's a hero mech. C means it's a champion mech. So that's if you have like set to like you know, like all. In class or something like that, right? If you say, oh, well, I only want to see my hero max. Well, all the hexagons instead of having just hit that, right? Now, the other one, if you just may have noticed when I clicked, oh, Jesus, let's go all the way back up, is this, the hexagon with an S. Um, it's not mentioned in the patch notes, but it is in here. These are your special max, which you can find with the special tab. So these are all the special edition max that have come out. So you got um, your Resistance uh, variant Panther and Wolfhound, um, Enforcer and Crab, um, Grasshopper, Black Knight, um, Mauler and Zeus. But then you also have like you know your Primes are classified as Special Edition mechs. So in this case, Dire Wolf Prime, Timberwolf Prime. Um, also, the Special Edition mechs from last year are in here as well, and this year's Special Edition mechs as well. So it's a nice little um, addition, because if you wanted to, like, say, just grind out your Special Edition mechs, and you, you just want to make some money and have some fun, right? This is probably what I would use, because they all have special geometry and special camo patterns on them. So, yeah, this is what I'd be using. It's, uh, it's, it's fun. It, it's a good little, little addition. Now, I only wish that you could create a if they created another one, which was the faction play option, where you can go into it and select and fiddle and fart, and also edit your mechs as well, that would be a nice little addition to uh, to preferably the next uh, the next patch. Um, so the next one is trial mechs. Uh, we're gonna go trial and both. Turn that off. Um, so the update. So now it's two clan and two inner sphere for every single class. Um, so we have an Adder and an Archicheeta, a Jenner and a Raven, Enforcer, a Hunchback, a Shadowcat, a Stormcrow, a Catapult, a Jaguar, Thunderbolt, Timberwolf, and an Atlas, a Dire Wolf, an Executioner, and last but not least, the big daddy of them all, the King Crab. Um, not all of them are champions as of yet, but from what I've read, everything here will be a champion down the road. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be at least, it's going to be one of, basically two Inner Sphere and two Clan for each and every single one here. So, yeah, that's not too bad. Uh, the next thing they changed, obviously, is the Seabill bonuses that you get. They've increased it. Now, um, after playing a couple matches, um, to be 100% honest with you, I only noticed, like, a $30,000 increase on average when playing through about six different matches. So the increase, which I'll kind of move around like this, right here, didn't, doesn't really affect things that much. Um, I mean, there's a couple things here, like these ones right here. Uh, UA Veil Kill, Capture Win, Capture Assists. Um, those kind of add up a little bit. But everything else is, you know, a couple thousand, two thousand, or whatever. So in the end, on average, you get an extra 30 grand over, like I said, five matches, which is okay. Um, I kind of wish it was a little higher, but yeah, what can you do, right? 
Now, the next thing they changed was the voting system. So if you vote and you lose, you get two votes for your next round, basically. And every time you lose, you get a double vote, basically. Uh, which is fair, so that way everyone kind of gets a fair shot, right? You know, those massive groups at 12, basically rickshawing and being, de you know, deciding, okay, we're going to play the following match. On the f you know, on the following mode. So, that's pretty good. And the next thing they added, well, well, which we'll get into momentarily, is the new two round, the two new uh, ver uh, additions to the Academy Bay, the shooting gallery. I'll bring this over here. There we go. Uh, the shooting gallery and onslaught, which we'll try momentarily. Um, there's some changes, obviously, to the uh, the hip boxes, catapult, uh, hunchback, and a few others, which is pretty good. You know, it's it's kind of entertaining when you get shot, but you're not getting a shot, but it looks like it. Um, they added the new Fracken, Fracken pattern to the King Crab, and then of course there's oof, all these fixes and shit. But let's get into the fun stuff, shall we? So, what we're going to do is we're going to do each one just real quick and easy and just kind of give it a little try. Um, I will later on, probably tomorrow, have a video where I've gone, I go in a little bit more in depth into uh, into these two modes. Let's see where they are, and then uh, what I'm going to do is have two dish, two videos after this, trying each one. So we're going to look at their locations. Oh, welcome. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're welcome to the academy. Uh, B. Okay, so now there's three things here, so it's probably here. Target practice, something, something, yeah. Everything's all... It, my UV is not even turned... Rapid fire, shooting gallery, okay. So yeah, so all they did was they moved it to the side there. Apparently they fixed this. So apparently now you can test your weapons by firing on targets. Twenty-six point eight. That's how much damage my weapons are doing when they hit someone. And this will show the average from that. Oh, it even shows down at the bottom. So three quick shots, four. We're gonna try and do this till I overheat. Five, and then six. It should now say we did 161.7 damage. That's not bad. So yeah. So here. Oh, come on, damn it. Yeah, shut up. So here is the two new uh, the two new modes. We're just gonna jump into the shooting gallery first. We're gonna try it out. Exterminate all enemy battlebacks. Round one, eight spawns, uh, mid to heavy. They're about 100 to 250. Uh, 50. Round two. Ooh. Okay, so it's giving me the press up and down arrow button to change difficulty, but it doesn't. So, I'm going to assume it's just automatically starting with easy then, because I can't click anything. So round one is eight, with uh, eight max between ranges of 100 to 250. Uh, round two is eight max again, and then 12. Uh. Oh, we can't move. Oh, it's just like one shot, one kill. Interesting.
Wow, that's actually not bad. So here we go. It says overall the ranges that they showed at and what uh, what damage you did. So overall our, fi our efficiency was 1.4, whatever that means. We did 11 shots. We got 8 kills. We had 1 airborne kill. Uh, total of 8 mechs spawned in total. Uh, it's 5 mediums and 3 heavies. And it gives you the ranges. I like that. Let's try round 2. Watch your map. So we don't have weapons that can uh, do any damage to these guys. We don't have the... Oh yeah, we are very close to the actual amount of damage we can do. Just falls into the water. Round complete. Damage thresholds per is two. So did we fail? Oh, we're gonna go to three automatically. So mental note, you automatically go to the next round no matter what. Oh nice. <laughs> yeah, we're so not going to be able to do damage to these guys. Fuck it. Nothing I can do. They're so out of my range. But it's only three rounds, which isn't too bad. wonder if I can do an airstrike. So it is three rounds automatically. The challenge is ended. Check your performance using the statistics below. Come back to improve your skills later. Oh, and it gives you a total. Okay. Nice. So it's just how many shots you did, how many kills you got, etc, etc, etc. That's not bad. We'll obviously, we'll have a, a better mech when we try this later. And let's try Onslaught. And there's a bit of a glitch there. It'll exterminate all enemy battle mechs. Round one, four lights. Round two, six mechs in total. Mix of heavy and mediums. And then the last round is eight. Now, if I can move. Nope, I can't move. Uh. Oh shit. They're coming at me. Ah, uh, it's nice to get it. Oh, they start shooting back. Crap, 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 crap. Mm -hmm. 
Headshots. Oh, Jesus. Oh, heart was pumping there for a second. Does it say how much damage we took? It, no, it doesn't. Oh, it tells you overall. Your average kill elf. Kill by weight class. I like this. It's only for that I can't move, but I like it. I'm gonna do something stupid. Let's see where they all show up here. Air strike. Let's see what happens. Nope, he's not even close. Go for our center towards. Cool down, center torso. Nice. Four fifty, four seventy. Send a torso on this guy too. Let's go. Leg him. It's gonna hurt. Damn it! No! 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 Oh. <laughs> if I knew this is how I figured I might be able to run, but no, oh, your back was destroyed. The challenge is over. So there we go. Those are the two new modes. Um, obviously, we'll take a more better rounded mech, obviously, for uh, for these modes. Now that we know what they are, um, stay tuned for a video. Um, over the next little bit, it'll have me just just trying those, just playing them with a more optimized mech for uh, for more fun and uh, and such. Anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Oh, I missed. I want to go your take your arm. His health went down. His health went down. His health went down. His health went down. Oh my god. His health went down. His health went down. Uh, his health went down. Okay, so we're going to end this possibly on... on something big. Let's look back. Assault. Clan. Oh, oh owned. Okay, so here is the Dire Star. His health went down. Like, noticeably went down. Noticeably went down. So we're going to end this video with uh, hopefully me killing him. Let's see how this works. See if this works, I should say. 10 PPCs should do the job. Welcome to the next Academy. Yeah, yeah, come on. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Oh, anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time on the battlefield. Bye-bye.